When I was filling and styling my recent self build, I wanted to do it with as much secondhand, upcycled items as possible, so barely buying anything, and I've actually done really well. Um, I'm gonna start with these, because these, there are two of these just left outside the front of someone's house. They were broken, they were just like plain formica, and I painted them and did this marbling effect on them to go with the room, and I just love them. Um, there's another one just over there, and with a rather interesting bars on it. Um, and whilst you're over there, have a look at the palette. This has been filled with um, air plants from Love Tilly's, and they, you just spray them once a week, but you can glue those to items, so you can really come up with some amazing wall art. Um, I've also made a chandelier with air plants out of an old bike wheel as well, which I've just spray painted. It's actually got some fairy lights on it as well, and hung that from the ceiling. And then probably my largest item of upcycled furniture is this table and benches. Now, I didn't make these, Dave made these, but I, um, it was my idea and came up with a design that he, he just executed it amazingly. This is made out of the old joists, or sorry, the leftover joists from building this property, because you always buy slightly extra, slightly more than you need, about 10% more than you need, just in case you run out. So there's always going to be leftovers. And um, he also made some shelves for me out of those as well. Um, I needed a corner unit for the TV, so I got that from my favourite charity furniture shop Abacus and painted that, and that was 20 quid, easily done. Um, in the bedroom, I um, wanted gold side tables, so I've upcycled these, they're two pieces of secondhand furniture, and painted the lamp shades as well to go with the rest of the room. I have also um, reupholstered the headboard, that was also from Abacus, so that literally just needed um, some new material. It had a horrible kind of um, faux leather, brown leather on that one. In the shower room, I upcycled some spice racks. Actually, I did that in both the shower rooms. And um, I've got a, a, a second-hand mirror that just was ideal for the color scheme in that room. Downstairs, we have a charity shop mirror by the front door, which became quite striking. It used to be a little bit of a dirty brown color. And then in the bedroom, again, the side tables were upcycled to get that injection of lime in there and um, I've got a corner unit and probably my favourite upcycle in this whole build though is my great grandmother's mirror. It's not worth anything really apart from the sentimental value and so I painted that grey to go in the shower room so I feel like I've done very well with my upcycles. <laughs>